today's video here, I'm going to teach you guys different pressures and how that's going to affect the atomization. So I'm leaving just the one air cap on here. This is going to be the H1, which is the HVLP uh, air cap for the Dwarves GTI Pro. I'm going to go right down with the air pressure and I'm going to go right up and I'll get you guys up and close to the camera, give you a look at the way that it actually atomizes. So I'm going to be setting the uh, distance at about 10 centimeters, which is about a fist width away, and I'll just have that fan mount right open, fluid just about right open, so it's just about to drop out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this video because I do get uh, sort of a lot of questions about air pressures and gun setting and stuff like that. So I'll just, uh, I'd just like to show you why you're better off sort of having a uh, pressure sort of a little bit higher with HVLP guns. I actually find it a little bit confusing calling it a HVLP. Um, for a long time, I really didn't understand why they would call it HVLP. It makes a little bit more sense to me now, um, and I'm just trying to help clear it up to you guys. Um, so yeah, high volume, low pressure. Let's go. Okay, so uh, let's have a bit of a closer look at the way those pressures have changed the way this gun actually sprayed. So I've gone up by increments of 5 psi in each spray. So I started off at 5 psi. You can see there, those blobs at the edge and all that, they're so thick, so it's atomized quite thickly. If I was to go and paint this uh, on clear coat on a car, it would just look absolutely shocking. You'd probably get away with it in base coat, um, but up to 10 psi, it's starting to look a lot nicer. You can see those uh, the the paint dots have atomized a lot finer, and we're up to 15 psi now. We're actually starting to get something that I would probably probably use when painting. 20 psi. Getting them a lot finer still. And then 25 PSI, which is actually where my air compressor maxed out. It wouldn't want it to go any higher than that. So, another quick look over them there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 and 25 PSI. Just, uh, just don't forget about the relation that temperature of the day and the temperature of the air has with air pressures. So if this is a, st a really sort of freezing cold day, this here would probably be more like 30 psi, 35 psi even, um, whereas it's set to me on a hot day, that's set to about 25 psi. So um, yeah, there is a reason behind that. Uh, the colder the air, Molecules are more dense, higher pressure. Warmer air, the molecule, molecules inside the air are uh, further apart, so the air pressure is going to be lower. So this gun here is another pretty popular air cap here. Um, it's the TE20, which a lot of people buy, and I actually recommend, use and recommend this air cap just about every day. Um, a lot of people ask me questions, uh, which gun should I buy? I say, mate, don't look past the air cap T20 on a pro light. So I've changed that uh, T20 cap over onto my uh, base coat gun. This is just a GTI Pro. It's basically the same gun. Air caps are what makes a gun spray the way it sprays. So if, if that fits onto the pro and the pro light, I say they basically spray exactly the same. 
So, um, I'd like to uh, give you guys a bit of a rundown on the air pressures and how it's going to uh, vary the way that the paint goes onto the panel. So again, I'll just go from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and see if we can even get up to 30 pairs. So, um, sometimes my compressor doesn't like getting that high on a, on a warm day. So here we go. And yeah, so basically I'll give you a run through the settings. Fan, wide open. Fluid is going to be right out. So it just starts in just about one or two turns. And we've got about 10 centimetres distance, which is just a fist width away. So that's 10 centimetres right there. So first up, down the five pair side, drop that right down. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. And that's about 28 pairs away. So, give you guys a look here at the, the way this is atomized and the way it's actually affected it. So, very low pressure there, five pairs so it's coming out in big splatters. 10, slightly smaller, 15, smaller again, 20. Starting to get a very nice atomization at 20. 25 is extreme, it's quite fine there. Um, I wouldn't usually run this gun at that temperature on a day like this. Um, and that's about 28, that's about all I could get on, on this day. So I'm gonna be doing a very similar thing with the TE10. Uh, this is low volume, low pressure air cap. So as I've already mentioned, the holes on either side of this cap are quite small there. So that's, it's obviously going to, this uh, gun will atomize finer at lower pressures. So it's gonna be basically the opposite of the um, HVLP. So it's low volume, low pressure. Let's have a go. We just start at five PSI and go up as high as we can in five PSI instruments, increments. Okay, so I was able to get that one right up to right up to 30 psi. So there you go, that's your 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. You can see that spray fan there is very nice and fine there. So um, So you can see there how with the H1 which is the high volume, low pressure, I was only able to go 10, 25. With the conventional spray gun, I was able to get up to 28 PSI. And this is using the same compressor, whereas this one I was able to get right up to 30 PSI, which that is why I recommend the TE10, which is the low volume, low pressure guns, if you have a uh, limited air supply, so if you're a DIY hobby type guy, or you've just got a small compressor, I would steer away from the HVLP guns, um, go for the conventional, uh, if you've got a mid-range compressor, or even the OVLP if you've got the small compressor. So hopefully you guys have learned a couple of things out of this vid. Uh, make sure you subscribe, punch a comment down below. Um, I'm always happy to answer questions and comments and stuff like that. I do however ask that you put it in a comment in YouTube. I prefer it that way. I get a lot of people asking me private messages on uh, Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, if you do that, well then you're the only person that gets to learn and you're the, also the only person that gets to answer. If you put it in a comment down here on YouTube, everyone can read it. Everyone can uh, read my answer. People can also join in. I'm not the be-all and end-all 
spray painting. I've just been doing it for a fair while. I've got guys that have probably got more experience than me and I'm happy for you guys to answer questions if you get there first. I spend probably about an hour every day answering questions and it is tiring. It does take a bit of time out of my day, obviously. I enjoy doing it. I will continue to do it. But as I say, just keep those uh, questions in a comment so everyone can see it. Thanks again for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.